subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. I got you a present. That's the Earth, the Moon, and Mars. And the string is me making my way back to you. Hi, Hilary. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Hilary, in the show Away, you play an American astronaut who is appointed the commander of the first mission to Mars. Um, while this is a big opportunity, quite early on, we see that it comes at great personal cost to her. Um, what first got you interested in taking the gig? Well, um, there are so many things that I love about this script. Um, one of them is that we have this... Um, um, multi-racial cast. It's just so uh, rich and diverse and I love that and I love that we are all on this uh, this journey to Mars and um, that like as we go on this journey you see our connectiveness to to Earth being our family or all of our family members are still there and we um, you get to see just that connective tissue of, of us being human, human beings and it transcends race and, and gender really. And, it, and it's, it's like a sci-fi story meets a love story, you know? Right. You know, um, it's also, if, if, so if one looks at it through the prism of, of your character, Emma Green, um, it, it also sort of speaks about the incredible resilience of women, doesn't it? That, that you know, that she's out there uh, on this incredible mission that's going to make the world proud. Uh, but she's also sort of, you know, um, battling these issues and, and, and you know, um, in the driver's seat sometimes, you know, looking into home and looking at what's going on with the husband and the child. Was that a big draw? Was that, was that interesting to explore? Yeah, you know, I think that um, not only women today, but men, you know, all, all different genders are really uh, trying to find a balance between work and family. And uh, both things are just as important to them. But, you know, sometimes one thing has to take a sacrifice and then the next time the other thing takes a sacrifice. But definitely when you have the ambition and the drive and the desire to go on a mission to Mars. I mean, that is like, that's the epitome of like making the ultimate sacrifice and you definitely need your family to support you. Yeah. You know, I don't know if this is a stretch, but I couldn't help sort of drawing a, a sort of parallel between the astronauts on this, on this ship, you know, stuck with just each other for company in a small space for a long duration of time with those of us around the world that have gone through long periods of lockdown in these COVID times. Mm -hmm. um, the feeling of isolation, the feeling of claustrophobia, wanting to be, you know, in the outside world, caring for those among us that get sick. Um, do you see that or, or am I catching for straws? No, no, no. It's like a hundred percent. I, I think that when you're going um, on a mission to Mars, the, uh, the isolation of that journey is so huge. And the things that bring you such comfort, I mean, it's three years and, um, it's definitely something that people will be able to relate to now that we've been in self-isolation and it's something that we've all experienced globally as a human race. Um, and I think the other parallels that we could probably uh, relate to the show is this desire to be with your loved ones, um, the importance of being healthy, and um, the um, how hope is really everything. Right. Um, Hilary, what was it like shooting the space scenes? I know that a lot of it is CGI, of course, uh, but but was there a little bit of practical effects? I mean, you know, the, um, the zero gravity, uh, the early on in the show, there's a space walk. I mean, what was it like to shoot? Yeah, you know, actually our green screen and all of that, like those special effects was very few and far between. We had some visual effects, but that was only because we were being held up by wires and then they'd have to just erase the wires. But, um, you know, we were actually using a lot of effort um, to make it look effortless because we were held on um, by these wires at the very lowest part of our hips and that was being used as our pendulum. So we, we you know, squeeze our glutes to move forward and then squeeze our abs to move back. But, you know, you'd be laying flat and only attached by your hips. So it was a lot of uh, a strenuous exercise, too. Well, thank you so much. It's a great show. I enjoyed it so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.